हेलो गाइस सो दिस इज़ द फिफ्थ एंड लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ एल टी हैंड ओवर एंड एक्स टू एल टी हैंड ओवर सो वी आर डन विद प्रपरेशन एंड एग्जीक्यूशन सो वॉट वी हैव सीन इन एग्जीक्यूशन दैट यू इज एक्सेस बाई टारगेट इन ओड बी एंड डाउनलिंग पैकेट्स आर फॉलोइंग दि पाथ दिस पाथ सोर्स इन एस जी डब्ल्यू टू सोर्स इन ओड बी then source it would be to target in node b and then target in node b to ue this is the path of downlink packets and uplink packets are following this path ue to target in node b and target in node b to sd to okay so so uplink path is fine but we are not uh, means it's not but the downlink path is very long means which is not uh is not looking good so for for this uh, means to remove this tunnel and uh using normal downlink path this handle completion is used so let's see the first message of this handle completion so the first message will be sent by target in node b target in node b will share a path request message path switch request sorry path is w i t c h path switch request message to mme and here it, this target in node b is including a t id and which is known as s1 target e node b t id <coughs> downlink it's a downlink t id <coughs> okay so mme receives this request from target e node b and then mme will send a modify bearer request message to sgw this sgw will receive this s1 target e node b tid downlink and this tid is shared by mme to sdw because mme gets this tid from target e node b okay so once sdw receives this tid so it will make a downlink bearer okay so this is the third step receiving this tid and fourth step is making this uh downlink bearer so downlink s1 bearer is also established now okay so now the next step third this is the fourth and the fifth step it will acknowledge this request means uh sdw will responds this message that is modify bearer response message this is the response It's from sdw to mme it is saying that yeah i have modified this downlink s1 bearer mme will say okay and now what sdw will do sdw will uh, initiate a end marker packet to source in node b this source in node b will forward this end marker packet to target in node b and the significance of this end mark packet is that uh, means once target in node b receives this em packet it will stop receiving uh, downlink packets via this tunnel this direct tunnel so once em packet arrives here in target e node b at target e node b so beyond this means after receiving em packets it will starts receiving downlink packets from sgw this this path because this downlink bearer is a modified bearer or you can say modified downlink bearer so it will stops receiving packets from direct direct tunnel 
and it starts receiving packets or you can say downlink packets from SGW directly ok now MME will sense path switch request acknowledge message and this target E node B will send a message that is step number 8 UE context release message sorry sorry Context release message that is UE context release message to source E node B. In this message, source E node B will tell uh, sorry, target E node B will tell source E node B to release all the resources related to this UE uh, because there are means now there are there are there is no use of uh, reserving those resources okay so we are done with handover completion here so thank you